1950 kilograms, 5011 millimeters long and 1899 millimeters wide. Those are not your typical coupe dimensions. These are the dimensions of a four-door coupe. The dimensions of the BMW M6 Grand Coupe. One of the best looking cars that ever came out of Munich and arguably one of the best looking family cars on the planet. Just look at its lines, shapes and proportions. I'm sure even Giorgetto Ciucciaro wishes he had been its designer. In addition to all the sex on wheels, there's this fantastic BMW interior which took years of experience to reach this level of perfection. It has some of the best tech on board, combined with the best materials such as leather, aluminum and carbon fiber. Everything is driver oriented and every button is exactly where it's supposed to be. And then there is this, the 4.4 liter S63 TU engine with its 560 horsepower and 680 newton meters of torque, which makes this car a real Porsche killer and lets you do things like this. Yeah, this is the fun you can have in a M6 Grand Coupé. Welcome again. My name is Kai and this is the car we are testing today. Now, first things first, clearly it's a different day today. It's raining, uh, so the outside shots won't match the inside shots. Last time um, our SD card was unfortunately unreadable. Thankfully, BMW agreed and gave us the car one more time to shoot all the interior, but it's a different month. It's a different season. It's October. So please just keep that in mind and bear with me. I think the car looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really digging this four-door coupe thing and Mercedes invented it in the CLS, but I think BMW executed it the best. It just looks so sexy and beautiful and you have the best from both worlds. You get a coupe with four doors. You get easily in and out the back seats. Uh, you sit comfortably in the back. It's not as comfortable as an M5 or 5 Series in the back, obviously, but it's still good enough for the few times you have actually people back there. Now, the interior of this car is fantastic as well. Everything feels very expensive here. You can have the nicest leather, carbon fiber, whatever you want, and every button feels uh, just right. There's nothing that feels cheap in here. Um, even the plastics are like very high quality plastics. And it's the typical BMW cockpit. I mean, I think it's one of the best on the market. Everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, there's never like a button somewhere where you think, why is that there? It's, it doesn't belong there or something like that. It's really well thought out in my opinion. Now the nice thing in this car is the split personality, you know. Right now I'm in comfort mode. I can drive easily a thousand kilometers in this car. It's so comfortable, it's quiet, soft enough, and yeah, fantastic cruiser. Then I get bored, I press the M button where I preset what I want the car to be like, and I can be a complete lunatic. I can drift around, I can drive crazy fast and get the most emotion out of this car just by the click of a button. So I think BMW got that split down very good, much better than any other company. Of course, this car isn't, you know, made for the racetrack or something. It's way too heavy. But on the autobahn or on the regular street, you can really, you know, hunt GT3s and Porsche turbos, stuff like that. This car wants to go sideways all the time. It's just so much fun to drift this car. It's so well balanced and so easy to drift. I mean, if I would own this car, the tire dealer would probably be my best friend. So the only bad thing about this car is the fuel consumption, in my opinion. I mean, it burns a lot of gas if you drive it the way it's supposed to be driven. I burn around 27 liters per 100 kilometers. I guess it's around like eight miles per gallon, something like that. So it's very bad. You know, if you drive it very carefully, you get to like 10 liters per 100 kilometers, but it's no fun, trust me. Uh, driving like that is no fun in this car. And that's where I ask myself the question, is the car really worth it? You know, no question, this car is tons of fun. Uh, it's, it's beautiful and 
high quality and yeah, tons of fun. But um, if I compare it with a BMW 435D, it's difficult. It's a difficult decision because the 435D is also very fast, very fast. And you actually get down the power because you have four wheel drive. <laughs> Yeah, if you drive fast in a 435D, you burn around 11 to 13 liters per 100 kilometers and you drive as fast as in this car. So it's really, it comes down to how much fun you want to have. If you want to have even more fun and drive sideways, I would definitely get the M6 Grand Coupé or if money is not an, not an issue at all, then get the M6 Grand Coupé. Otherwise, to be, you know, more on the safe side, probably for the 435D is just as much fun. So overall, summarizing, this car is f***ing fantastic. It's so much fun. You can drift in it, you can take your family in it, you can drive in front of a club with it, you can drive comfortably long distances with it. It's the perfect car for everything. So definitely one of my favorite cars of all time, the BMW M6 Grand Coupé. My name is Kai, I'll see you guys next time. No, and I even have the typical M buttons on my steering wheel. The car just handles so well.